Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Baton. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Just a reminder, if you are arriving to school before 8 o'clock, you should not be in our buildings. You need to make sure that you are waiting outside. And at 8 o'clock, if you go to breakfast, you may go inside. No one else is going into the building until 8.10 in the morning. Then you are going to wait inside uh, if you are a primary student in the primary office area and if you are an intermediate student by the gym. Please make sure when you're waiting in the lines that you are making above the line choices. A few important dates. Our yearbooks are on sale until March 13th. Also, on March 13th, we will have a two-hour delay staff enrichment. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for our Baton Pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. Today is Monday, March 6, 2023, and for lunch today, we will have the Red Skin Burger, French Fries, Fruit, and Milk. Happy birthday to the following students, River McLean and Kylie Stanley. We hope you have a great birthday. As we're thinking about our week and all the exciting events and activities and things we are going to learn, please make sure you keep in mind our beliefs, our behaviors, and our outcomes. We know that many events will happen throughout our week here at school, and what we can control is our response. You are in charge of your own response. Our response will lead to our outcome. We want to make sure we're making above the line responses so we can have above the line outcomes. Please think about the belief of being together where we think team, not self. We take time to care, listen, and connect and do great things for each other. That way we can have more fun and better results here at school. We also have a belief that we have a relentless pursuit of growth. We know that every day when we come to school isn't going to be easy. Sometimes the activities, the lessons that we're doing are hard. We have to be gritty and embrace the challenge. We have to be willing to dig deep inside and do our work to get better. If you are doing the work and getting better every day, you are on your way to becoming the best version of yourself. It's also important that we have the belief of owning it. That's where we have to think first before we act. We have to look for solutions. We don't want to have blaming, complaining, and defending. That's not going to solve our problems. We want to talk to people, not about people. This will give us pride in our actions and trust in one another here at school. Let's work hard this week to work together. Let's listen to our teachers. Let's listen to one another. Let's care about each other and let's connect. Let's look for someone maybe we haven't talked to in a while. Let's play with someone new on the playground. Let's get to know other people here at school. Remember, the March theme is to do great things for each other. It's a great time to practice being together. When you are in the hallway, please make sure you are following our hallway expectations, walking on the right side of the hallway, keeping your hands and feet to yourself, going to and from your destination quietly with your eyes forward, using the handrails to walk up and down the steps, and please, when you're going past other classrooms, make sure you are not disturbing others while they are learning. Also, our restrooms, please do your part to keep our restrooms clean and safe. Wait quietly for your turn, walk in and out of the restroom, one person at a time, use the restroom properly and flush. Also, wash your hands and clean up your paper towel. Make sure you do not take anything into the restroom that you do not need, such as pens, pencils, markers, or other things. Those things can be waiting outside the door. Special congratulations to Araya Evans for passing her division facts on the extra math program in Mr. Ferd's classroom and completing the program. Awesome job, Araya. We will have a family game night coming up on Wednesday, March 8th. This will take place from 6.30 to 7.30 in the library. If you are interested, you are going to come in near the courtyard entrance and you may bring a game from home, home or we will have games here for you to play. We have a baton star today. Congratulations to fifth grader Seven Page. When Mr. Perriott's class was walking towards the cafeteria, Seven, who was leading the class line, stopped his whole class to allow Ms. Fritz and all of Mrs. Ransom's class to go in front of them. Thank you, Seven, for doing great things for others. Keep up the great work, and thank you for being a good example for other students. At this time, we are at the end of our announcements, and I hope everybody is ready for a great week here at school. Take some time to show that you care, listen, connect, and do great things for one another. Go Skins!